Hello friends. So in the previous session we have just concluded our discussion on the DC separately excited generator. We did a small numerical and the numerical was spread out into three sessions. So please watch them and try to understand the concept. So with that we are concluding with the separately excited DC generator. So let us start with DC shunt generator. So just like motors where we started with separately excited DC motor. So we are moving to DC shunt generator. So what is a DC shunt generator? Same definition as in motor. But here uh, the field circuit the field circuit is connected in parallel with the armature, right? The field circuit is connected in parallel with the armature. So what is the advantage? Parallel with the armature. So what it means is that the generator supplies its own current Okay, supplies its sorry for that <laughs> the generator supplies its own field current and how is that achieved it is achieved by connecting uh, the field circuit in parallel with the armature so once the definition is over what is the routine you draw the equivalent circuit right so we let us draw the equivalent circuit here so the equivalent circuit is simple enough so you are having your armature here let us draw the armature so this is a generator so this is your RA, this is your EMF induced in the armature. So this is your armature circuit, till here it's your armature circuit. So your field circuit will be connected in parallel with the armature circuit. Okay, so this is your RF and this is your LF and here you can connect your load. So this is your generator. So this is the terminal voltage VT. And uh, let me must mark some currents here. So this is your IA. Okay, so generator. So it's moving out of the armature. And this is your IL load current and this is your IF which is the field current or it is also called as the shunt current. So it can be ISH or it is IF. Alright, so let us write some equations now. Quick equations. So these equations are required to understand the numerical. So now if you write a uh, KCL here you get IA is equal to IF plus IL so IF plus IL or I can call it as I shunt also I shunt plus IL all right and uh, the VT value will be the same so VT is equal to EA minus IARA same you can just circuit concepts right so this is VT so EA minus IARA is equal to VT. And what is the value of IF? IF will in this case will be equal to VT divided by RF. Alright. Or it can be also called as RSH. Alright. So this can be also called as ISH. So this is the uh, <coughs> equations that you require to understand the shunt generator. Now what is the advantage here of a shunt generator? The advantage clearly is that a separate, no separate supply is required for the no separate supply is required for the field winding, right? In the separately excited, you need a separate supply. In here, you don't need a separate supply. The armature itself is capable of supplying the field current. But all this is very good. But let us see at the starting point what happens, all right? So at starting point, EA is equal to K phi omega, right? So when the machine is going to start, the generator you are going to start that time omega will be very close to zero that means ea will be very close to zero and if ea is very close to zero you don't have any terminal voltage and if terminal voltage is zero there is no field current and if there is no field current there is no flux inside the machine all right and if there is no flux inside the machine how emf is going to get generated okay so that is the question so if the machine is going to supply its own field current in the starting position there is no induced emf because the speed is equal to zero okay and because there is no if which is flowing because vt also is equal to zero there is no if therefore there will be no flux then how is the emf getting generated how is the dc shunt generator producing emf this question let us discuss in the next session all right so in the next session we will be discussing a topic which is called the voltage buildup all right voltage build up of a shunt generator in that meantime you can just uh, go through the book and if you understand that it's well and good but anyway i will be discussing 
right so the question is so what is the question i'll just write it down if the generator supplies its own field current its own field current okay how does it get the initial flux okay how does it gets the initial flux to start when the generator is turned on so this is the question you can refer the book see whatever concepts i have covered in dc machinery fundamentals all those concepts are enough to understand the entire dc generator on your own but then there are some things which we might be a little bit confusing that is why we are going through the entire topic but i would advise you to try to understand things on your own as well so if you like this video please like share and subscribe the channel and i'll see you in the next video thank you